Hello, 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 everybody. Well, it's been a while. I want to come back on here today. I want to say hello. I hope you are doing well, and I want to share a story with you today. All right, I'm going to take my hat off for now. But I have something here. This is just a toy. It's a toy recorder. Have you ever tried to play an instrument? Maybe the piano. Hey, maybe you can even do twinkle, twinkle, little star on the piano. Or maybe a flute or a recorder. Or did you ever try the guitar? Have you ever heard anybody practice and then maybe they hit a wrong note and it kind of goes through you? Ooh! That's what we call a sour note. And we're going to hear a story today that has to do with just that hitting a sour note. I want to share with you a verse from the Bible. And you know, the Bible is split into two sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And this verse that I want to share with you today is from the New Testament. Okay, so look on the second section. And the book of Philippians is the 11th book of the New Testament. So jot this down, or you can pause this and go get your Bibles. That's better yet. That'd be right, really cool. And you can look up this verse with me. All right? It comes out of Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Chapter 1, verse 6. Six, and are you ready? Do you have it? Did you pause it and come back and get it? I'm going to wait till you do that, okay? I'm going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. It says, let me put it here. It says, God who began a good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. I remember growing up, my sister would be in her room practicing on the recorder, but it was a real one. It was a practice real one. <laughs> and uh, I still remember the song she would play. It would be, go tell Aunt Rhody. Now, she wasn't singing. She was playing, but that's the words to the song. But every once in a while, she would hit a note. Go tell. Ooh. And I would be in the bedroom like this. Ooh. So have you, that's my question. Have you ever, and you can comment on here, share this video. Have you ever heard, or maybe yourself, Play an instrument, heard someone play an instrument and they, or you, hit a sour note. Let me share my story, all right? Maria set up her music stand, then took out her violin. You know what a violin, have you ever seen one? She began to play, but as she drew her bow across the strings, many notes were shaky and Unsure. I'm out of here, said her brother Carlos, heading for the door. He was gone. He, he couldn't handle it. Those high squeaky notes hurt my ears. You ever hear a noise that like really loud? Maybe a smoke alarm or an alarm at school. Maybe you had a fire drill and you're holding the... Well, that's how he was while his sister was playing. Carlos is right. They sound awful, said Maria. My teacher calls those sour notes. This piece is too hard. Try it again, said Mom, coming into the room. Keep practicing. With a sigh, you know what that is? Do that with me. Ready? One, two, three. With a sigh, Maria did so. Though she still couldn't play the song perfectly, by the end of her 30-minute practice session, it had definitely improved. 
Did everyone have a good day? Asked Dad at dinner that evening. What did y'all do? I practiced a new piece on my violin the teacher gave me, said Maria. It still needs a lot of work, but it's coming along. I played ball with some friends at the park, Carlos said. Steve got mad and went home. He doesn't do that much anymore, but he blew it today. That's too bad, said Mom, but I'm glad he's doing better. Maria frowned. Can you make a frown? Maria frowned. But he's a Christian, isn't he? He should know better than to get mad like that. Well, let's pray for him and be thankful that he's making progress, Dad said. It's easier to be patient with others when we remember we all do sinful things sometimes and need God's help and forgiveness. Right said mom think about your violin practice maria remember all those sour notes we heard at first well we can have sour notes in our lives too habits and bad attitudes that are out of tune with who we are as god's children but when we confess that means, yeah, I did it, yes, I'm sorry, Lord. To Jesus, he forgives us and helps us play a new song. Dad nodded. When we put our trust in Jesus, he changes us and gives us the Holy Spirit who works in us so others can hear the beautiful song of God's love and salvation in our lives. It takes time. But God has promised to continue working until the day Jesus returns and gets rid of sin forever. You don't give up on the music. And God doesn't give up on us. Okay, said so Marie, I'll keep practicing. I'm sure Steve will too. We're not perfect. We make mistakes. We can call those sour notes. And sin is things that disappoint God, things that we do or we say or an attitude or a feeling we have that go against how God wants us to be. But when we do that, when we have that, we just come to God and say, Jesus, please forgive me. And let me also add here, if you have never asked Jesus into your heart, I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about just going through the motions and going to church. I'm talking about knowing Jesus in a personal way where you can talk with him and he will talk with you and you're studying and you're growing in your relationship with God. If you have never asked Jesus into your heart, all you need to do is pray something like this. It does not have to be these exact words, but just something like this. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross in my place. Forgive me, Jesus, of all the things I have done to hurt you. Please forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart that I can live for you and with you forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that and you mean it with your whole heart, I would love for you to comment below. All right, well, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in and have an awesome day. Don't forget to comment below, like the video, and share the video. Bye, everybody.